The second process of the Align Plan and Organize Domain called Manage Strategy, has five process goals. The first goal this process supports is to ensure that IT strategy is aligned with the enterprise strategy, and its achievement is measured by the percent of IT objectives that support the enterprise strategy. The second supported goal is to ensure that the IT strategy is cost-effective and realistic. The achievement of this goal is measured by the percent of IT initiatives with benefits exceeding their costs, and with the stakeholder satisfaction level with the IT strategy. The third goal is to ensure that short-term goals support the long-term initiatives, and its achievement is measured by the percent of IT projects that support the IT strategy. The fourth supported goal is to ensure that IT is a value driver for the enterprise, and its achievement is measured by the percent of enterprise objectives supported by IT initiatives. The fifth goal that this process supports is to ensure that there is awareness of the IT strategy and that clear accountabilities are defined. The achievement of this goal is measured by the percent of strategic initiatives with clear accountabilities assigned, and by the frequency of updates to the IT strategy communication plan. This process has six practices. The first practice is to understand the enterprise direction. From a RACI charts perspective, the entities that are responsible for this practice are, the chief information officer, and the main IT heads and managers. The entities that are held accountable are the business executives. This practice receives several inputs that include, the resource allocation principles from the EDM4 process, the business driving innovations from the AP04 process, and the enterprise strategy from external sources. It generates one output which is, the priorities for changes which is used internally. The activities involved in this practice include, developing an understanding of the enterprise's strategy and its external environment, and identifying key stakeholders. The required strategic changes should be identified and analyzed, and the enterprise architecture should be assessed for potential improvements.